How's it going guys? Little Dog Doug here. Today I'm bringing you a quest guide for Fairy Tale Part 1, Growing Pains. Um, the quest requirements for this quest are the Lost City, uh, the quest Nature Spirit, and all the prerequisite quests to Nature Spirit, as well as Jungle Potion. However, Jungle Potion is only a quest requirement if during a portion of this quest you get assigned um, to gather some clean Valencia Moss. If you don't get assigned clean Valencia Moss, then you don't have to worry about doing Jungle Potion, so don't stress it too much if you haven't done it. There are no official skill requirements for this quest. Um, however, there are some recommendations. I'm going to recommend you have at least 30 plus farming and 40 plus melee combat stats. You have to fight the final boss of this quest with melee. And the melee weapon you use scales to your combat level, or to your farming level, sorry. Um, so the higher your farming level, the more damage you're going to be able to do to this level 68 boss. As for what you're going to need to bring with you, um, it's just one spade, one pair of secateurs. Um, one Draymond Staff or Lunar Staff so that you can get into Zanaris, and four free inventory spaces um, for items you're going to have to gather during the quest. Um, the Spade and Segators cannot be the ones on your tool belt, so make sure that you actually have the physical items in your inventory. I'm also going to recommend if you're a lower level, you bring around five food. Um, you're not going to need it per se because the boss doesn't hit too hard, but if you are a low level and you're just doing this quest around level 40 or 50, you might want to bring some food along with you that will help. And I'm going to also recommend that you just have like around 10,000 coins in your currency pouch if you'd rather buy the items off the GE you need to gather than collecting them yourself. But that's completely up to you, so all I'm recommending is 5 food. To start, you're going to want to talk to Martin the Master Gardener. He can be found wandering around the Drainer Village Market. As I said, you're going to speak to Martin the Master Gardener and choose the second chat option, General Chat. He's going to start complaining to you about how the crops aren't growing, and then ask the first uh, chat option, anything I can help with. He's going to ask you to go around and um, talk to the other farmers, see if they're having similar issues, and what they think the cause might be. Now choose the first chat option. Now that I think about it, you're right. And now you're going to head off to Catherby to talk to Dantera, located at the allotment patch, right here. So home teleport to Catherby. And just go west from the lodestone, and Dantera can be found walking around all the farming patches. Just speak to her and choose the second chat option, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? She'll say yes she is, and she'll give her reasoning as to what she thinks the problem with the crops is. Now for the second gardener of five you have to talk to is Elena. She's just in Catherby also, on the east side though near the fishing spots. She is by the fruit tree patch. When you speak to her you're going to choose the second chat option, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? She'll also give you her reasoning. And now you're going to head to Karamja to speak to um, the farmer here, he's located just north of the lodestone. You're going to speak to him and choose a second chat option. Once again, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? He's going to give you his reasoning as to why the crops aren't growing. And now you're going to want to head to Falador and into the park to the tree patch to speak to your fourth farmer. So just home teleport to Falador. And at the patch you're going to speak to Helena. Choose the second chat option, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? And now, just south of Faldor, near the cabbage patch, you're going to go to your final farmer, who's going to give you the final reasoning as to why the crops aren't growing. So speak to the final farmer, choose a second chat option, are you a member of the group of advanced gardeners? 
click through the dialogue and he's going to tell you about how the fairies could be causing the problems with the crops because they impact everything that is causing all the problems such as disease and uh, poor rainfall and the seasons being wrong and all that. So now you're going to head back to Martin the Master Gardener. He's just in Draenor so it's a short walk and speak to him once again. Choose the second chat option, talk about farming problems. And he'll get excited about the chance of fairies because he thinks that might be the actual issue. Now you're going to want to head to the Lumbered Swamp to head to Zanaris. Make sure you have your Draymond Staff equipped. The fastest way there is through the Lumbridge Castle Courtyard and out into the swamp. Now as I said, you're going to want to wield the Draymond Staff before you go in or else it won't work. So just make sure you're wielding it and once you open the door you'll be teleported to Zanaris. Now from here you're going to want to head south to the throne room and speak to the fairy godfather. Open the door, go in and choose the second chat option when it comes up, uh, where is the fairy queen? He'll tell you that she's gotten sick and uh, he doesn't know how to cure her so he's just holding over her spot for now. And he tells you she's located in the northwestern side of town. So just north of the bank here you can find the fairy uh, godmother um, with her nurse. So you're just going to want to run there and speak to her nurse. You just need to talk to the fairy flying around in the room, click through all the dialogue options. There are no um, actual dialogue options, I meant um, just click through the dialogue and then she's going to tell you where to go and who to find. You have to go to the uh, Dark Wizard's Tower and speak to a man there who might know how to defeat a Tanglefoot, which is what put the fairy godmother in a coma. So the Dark Wizard's Tower is located just west of Faldor. There is a low level agility shortcut through Faldor. If you can't uh, do the shortcut, you'll have to walk around. I used it in the video, I'll show you. It is a very low level though, so don't worry about not being able to do it. So from the Faldor Lodestone, you're just gonna head towards the west bank and over the shortcut in the wall here. And you'll be right outside the Dark Wizard's Tower. You're gonna wanna climb all the way up to the top and speak to the man with the air staff and once again you just have to click through all the dialogue you can read what he says if you're interested if you're not you're using a guide so you don't really need to pay attention I'm gonna tell you where to go but essentially he says you need to speak to Magnifus Mortifer on how to defeat a Tanglefoot if you really want to do it because he's the only one who has done it once you're done talking to Xandar, you're going to want to head to the uh, to where Magnifus Mortifer is located. It's just north of the White Knight camp outside of Port Serum. So home teleport to Port Serum. And walk north. He is the wizard in black with all the other uh, elemental wizards. Choose a second chat option, I need help fighting a Tanglefoot. And he's going to ask you to go to get him a skull from behind Draenor Manor um, in return for the information on how to kill a Tanglefoot. So behind Draenor Manor um, you'll find a grave that you just have to dig at. So just north of the Draenor uh, Lodestone, you'll get right to the Manor. Oh, I said that weird. Manor. Manor. The Draenor Manor. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, you can see the gravestone here. Just as long as you're standing on top of it, just dig with your spade. 
and you'll get a Draenor Skull. Now we'll just head back to Port Serum to bring the Skull to Magnifus. And when you talk to him, choose the second chat option again. I was asking you about a Tanglefoot. Now he's going to give you a list of ingredients that you need um, to create your magic secutors. If you missed it, you can just find them in your quest log. Um, but, so what you need to do is go gather those items now that he told you about before we go to the Nature Spirits Grotto in Canifis. Um, I had three items that were buyable off the Grand Exchange. There are too many items for me to list in this video. It would take a couple minutes alone, probably three or four minutes for me to go through all the items. Most items that he gives you are buyable on the Grand Exchange or easily accessible um, through other ways. But I had to get a blue dragon scale, a clean Avento, and a clean Irit. You, can, you need three to four items depending on what he gives you. Um, and usually they're buyable off the Grand Exchange. There's no way to know what items you're going to have to get um, prior to this, so you just have to do this part during this part of the quest. Once you have your items, you're going to want to head to the Nature Spirits Grotto in Canifis to get your Secators enchanted into Magic Secators. So if you have a Games Necklace um, and you've done Berg de Rot, uh, ramble and temple trekking the Bergdorot <coughs> teleport will be faster sorry about that um, but if you don't just walk through the um, the gate and go through the swamp to get to the nature spirits grotto Once you're there, you're going to want to jump over the bridge and go into the grotto tree. Speak to the nature spirit and just click through all the dialogue options. And he will enchant your magic secators. And now you can head back to Zanaris. So home teleport to Lumbridge. Through the castle courtyard once again. Make sure you have that Draymond Staff or Lunar Staff equipped, and back to Zanaris. Now we need to head to the southwestern portion of Zanaris to fight the Tanglefoot. If you have high agility, you can use these shortcuts here, but um, I don't know if you guys do, so I just walked the path. You'll see a guardian standing outside of the grove. Just click on the grove and the guardian will let you through. And then all the way in the back of the dungeon on the northwestern side is going to be the Tanglefoot. Um, make sure you're not fighting the baby Tanglefoot. You have to fight the level 68 Tanglefoot. And make sure you have your magic secretors equipped. Now this fight is going to take a different amount of time depending on your farming level. The boss doesn't really have any special attacks so there's really nothing like that to worry about. Just make sure when you do kill the boss, you pick up the Queen's Secretors that it drops as you need them to finish the quest. Once you're done, you're just going to leave the cave um, the way you came in. And you're going to return to the Fairy Godfather um, back at the throne room to turn in the quest. Speak to the fairy godfather once you're in the throne room. You'll give him the magic or, or the queen secretors, and that's going to be quest complete. If this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions, tips, or complaints. Um, 
If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And if you're bored, check out some other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, and event guides. Thanks.